Hi, Gary Stearman. It is June the 6th, a Wednesday, and I am making this update to inform you about something that's happened inside Israel that I think illustrates a point about the battle for the reestablishment of national Israel in these latter days. Uh, from Arut Sheva, Israel National News, the headline, Netanyahu checkmates everyone in the Ulpana battle. Ulpana uh, was a small settlement uh, in the West Bank region, Judea, Samaria region, that had been ruled out of bounds by the state of Israel. In other words, uh, although Benjamin Netanyahu and the Likud government are in favor of West Bank settlements, there are some that, that are considered to be so controversial that the, the uh, state of Israel had said those settlements uh, must be removed. That's Ulpana. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu once again has proven that it's more important for a politician to win than to be liked. His nationalist ministers fell in line on Wednesday, uh, that's early today, and did not support the bill that would have prevented the fall of five homes in Beit El, where 30 families would face court-ordered uh, expulsion. Now, it's fascinating to see the Israelis work on these settlements because uh, what we have here is the government of Netanyahu, which is now a national unity government, defending itself from outside invaders and also defending itself internally uh, and trying to, to establish a systematic uh, way of uh, renewing settlements in Judea and Samaria. Now here's a little note, second paragraph of this story. A master chessman who once won a tie with chess expert Natan Sharansky, uh, Netanyahu turned what 24 hours ago seemed like a certain divorce bill from nationalists into a reconciliation based on mutual need as well as an agreed mutual distrust. And what happened is under very controversial Knesset legislation, the Ulpana settlements were outlawed. But that will allow other settlements in Judea and Samaria to be built uh, as time goes on. And uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is referred to here as a chess master who knows how to give up a piece or two in order to win the game. And I thought you might be interested in knowing that the president, uh, present prime minister of Israel, once tied chess expert Natan Sharansky. You know, it takes a very sharp mind to do that. Uh, the government will continue to strengthen the settlements under the new legislation, but the Ulpana uh, settlement uh, was declared illegal. The Palestinian Authority, meanwhile, says that it owns the entire land of Israel. Under Palestinian Media, media Watch uh, uh, observation, we have here an article about a Palestinian Authority song that has become very popular in the last week or so among uh, Palestinians in Israel. And the song says that all of Israel is Palestinian land. Uh, it's a song denying Israel's existence, and it's been rebroadcast, that is played over and over and over again on Arabic uh, radio stations. Uh, here's the article from Palestinian Media Watch. Contrary to the Palestinian Authority's claim that it recognizes Israel's right to exist, Palestinian television and official cultural events continue to reinforce the message of non-recognition of Israel by depicting all of Israel as Palestine. This month marked the 27th broadcast by official PA TV of a song that presents all of Israel's land as Palestinian land. It's, by the way, it's PA TV and also Palestinian radio. Uh, the song was originally performed at a Fatah event last year in the presence of PA Chairman Mahmoud Abbas and many other senior PA officials. The Palestinian singer declares that, quote, my land and our coast span from Rosh Hanikra in Israel's north uh, to Rafa in the Gaza Strip in the south and from Haifa on Israel's western border to Beit Shan on Israel's eastern border. And here are the words of this PA song which is being played over and over again on, both on PA TV and PA radio. Quote, we commit and promise to stand behind you, O Mahmoud Abbas, until Judgment Day. 
These are the lyrics to the song, translated into English. I am returning to you the purest land, O land of the free. No matter how long uh, the nights of exile, I am returning to you, O land. From Rosh, uh, Rafa to Rosh Hanikra, the northern coast, uh, our coast, and Beit Shan, an Israel, re- Israeli city on the east, Above your soil, O my land, is a picture of the Garden of Eden, from Rafa to Rosh Hanikra, our coast, and Beit Shan. Above your soil, O my land, is a picture of the Garden of Eden, from Rafa to Rosh Hanikra, north and south, as are the picture's borders, from Haifa to Tantura, and all of Israel. I am returning you, the purest land, the land of the free. This is the uh, Palestinian Authority's theme song, and the song is, All of Israel Belongs to Us and We Will Take It. It's uh, sung in rather holy tones. It's, uh, it has become a, an anthem uh, in the Palestinian Authority, and it has become a very, very popular radio and TV anthem. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of the mindset of the Palestinian Authority. Uh, no sharing of the land of Israel with the Jews. Oh, no, this is our land. You might say uh, it's kind of a paraphrase of this land is your land, this land is my land, from Beit Shan to Haifa. You know, it's, uh, it's declaring that all Israel belongs to the Palestinian Authority. And it reflects the idea that is seen very clearly in Psalm 83, Uh, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones, they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites of Moab, the Hagarines, Gebel, Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is joined with them, and they have helped the children of Lot. The children of Lot being the generic population uh, there in the Middle East particularly the land that lies to the east of, uh, of today's Israel. And so it goes, the Palestinians have a theme song. We commit and promise to stand behind you, O Mahmoud Abbas, until Judgment Day. That's the opening line of their, of their song. And, and what are they committed to? They are committed to taking the entire land of Israel from Haifa to Beit Shan and from uh, Rosh Hanikra uh, to uh, the lands in the south, moving down toward Egypt. I, uh, I think that's all we need to know about the Palestinian Authority. It pretty much says it all uh, when they sing the song day after day on radio and television. It's a little hard to hide their true intentions, I think. And here we have Benjamin Netanyahu fighting to save the lands of Judea and Samaria, and on the other side, the Palestinian Authority saying, this land is our land. That pretty much uh, states the case in modern Israel. Gary Stearman, things are happening fast, so keep looking up.